and we tell them what the disease is. And I think the most difficult thing for them to hear is that it's a chronic disease and that we yet have no cure for these diseases. And so this is a lifelong journey. Inflammatory bowel diseases uh, is an umbrella of multiple infl inflammatory conditions. Um, the main ones are is Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Um, Crohn's disease being a condition where uh, there is inflammation in the intestine that can affect you from anywhere involve anywhere between the mouth to the anus, while ulcerative colitis is really limited to the colon. So basically these are conditions where you have inflammation in the, in the intestines um, and it is driven by the fact that your immune system has decided to attack your own self and cause these inflammation in, in the intestines. Having IBD is, is full-time work. Um, that's what a doctor told me at the uh, emergency room at once. It's living with a condition you don't really understand all the time. Sometimes you'll wake up and you're going to be full of energy. Other times you have to really pace yourself. You have to think about it like diabetes or high blood pressure where you control the disease, but it, it doesn't mean that it, without medication that the disease will remain controlled. Classical symptoms, the ones that most people know are the liquid stool, the rectal bleeding, the abdominal cramping, the abdominal pain, the fatigue, uh, weight loss, loss of appetite, there's a lot of nausea. And for Crohn's disease, that is a more complex disease, there will be other manifestations other than what we know of the digestive system and it's called extraintestinal manifestations. It can affect you know, the skin, it can affect the eyes, it can affect many other areas, it can affect the joints and, uh, and so a lot of people don't know about these and I think there's a lot of place for education. The most recent statistics in Canada, we're looking at somewhere above uh, 300,000 people that have inflammatory bowel disease, both Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Uh, however, we haven't reached the peak yet. Uh, we think that by two, two, 2035, we might be at around 1 to 1 1.2% of the Canadian population uh, that has inflammatory bowel disease. And we think that the peak will probably be reached around 2050. The goal of treatment right now to improve our efficacy and make sure that we have safe drugs as well is to uh, ident try to better identify or personalize our care to patients where we say through uh, factors that are probably maybe in the blood or on the biopsies, we're able to identify which patients will respond better to which drug uh, to have a you know, a much better efficacy of, you know, rates of efficacy for our treatments. Having this condition allow me to be, to develop a lot of compassion, patience. I'm more open to people. I'm a better listener and I'm curious about a lot of things. I don't know if I would have been those things if it wasn't for, for IBD.